New York City, 1977. On the morning of June 14th, three men approached the Yugoslav diplomatic mission to the United Nations. Outside the mission, a New York City police officer stands guard. Inside, Yugoslav security agents protect the embassy. One of them asks the visitors for identification. Stairs, go, go! Hearing the shot, police officers rush into the building. Foreign missions are technically outside the NYPD's jurisdiction. The officers are now in Yugoslav territory. As backup arrives, the officers inside the mission try to negotiate with the three men, but they have barricaded themselves in an upper office. The intruders warn they have taken a woman hostage. They will kill her if anyone tries to enter. One officer offers himself as a substitute hostage. Take me for the hostage. The gunmen refuse. Agents from the FBI's New York field office respond to the scene. According to federal law, the FBI is responsible for investigating all attacks on foreign missions. Special Agent Len Cross. As I arrived, we had police officers in the park. We had police officers on surrounding buildings with uh, scoped rifles. And then we had the uh, emergency service units making entry into the building. What was going through my mind was, you know, what was happening on the inside. The suspects appear in an upstairs window, brandishing a Croatian flag. They toss propaganda leaflets into the street. The leaflets call on the United Nations to force communist Yugoslavia to grant Croatia its independence. What they were trying to do was gain publicity for their cause and showing the oppressive regime that existed in Yugoslavia and how they were oppressing the Croatian people. A hostage negotiator talks to the suspects for nearly two hours. They finally agree to come out, but only if they are taken into custody by U.S. authorities, not Yugoslav officials. They were just trying to protect themselves from the officials because they knew if uh, if they got their hands on them, they'd kill them. Easy. And then finally, when they realized it was the New York City police, and the FBI on the other side of the door, and assured them that no harm would come to them, they surrendered uh, without incident. Move. Stay right there. The suspects revealed that they never had a hostage. They were only bluffing to prevent Yugoslav security agents from mounting an armed assault. As the police officers escort the suspects out of the building, mission security confronts them. Step side, gentlemen. Not a prisoner. They tell the officers to hand over the radicals. This is Yugoslavian mission. You have no right here. This is territory of Yugoslavia. Put the guns down. The NYPD officers refuse. Step aside. No. Lower your weapon. They intend to leave the mission with the prisoners. We're taking our prisoners out. Lower the guns. 